Natural Vegetation of India India is a big country with a variety of climate. The variation in temperature and rainfall together with the diversity of relief has blessed India with these type of vegetation. With these type of vegetations. Tropical Rainforests There are evergreen forests found in the area of high rainfall like western ghats and northeastern states. These forests are very thick and tall and consist of valuable species of plants like teak, ebony, bamboo, sandalwood, rosewood and rubber tree. Tropical Deciduous Forests They are found in the areas of moderate rainfall 80 cm to 200 cm. The seasonal contrast of temperature and rainfall affect their growth. They are of deciduous nature. These forests are found on the large parts of Peninsular Plateau. Teak, sal, shisham, neem and mango are the main species of trees grown here. Trivia India is one of the 10 most forest-rich countries of the world. The 2013 Forest Survey of India states that the forest cover is increased to 69.8 million hectares. Thorn and Scrub Forests These forests occur in the region of low rainfall. Here only thorny grass, scrub, bushes, cactus and date palm grow. They are mainly found in Rajasthan, Gujarat, parts of Punjab and Haryana. Mountainous Vegetation On the slopes of Himalayan mountains, the vegetation changes with altitude because temperature decreases with altitude. Trees take time to grow and quick regeneration of forest is not possible. From sea level to about 1800 meters, deciduous hardwood trees such as sal are found. Up to a height of 3000 meters, pine, cedar and deodar trees and some conifers are found. Softwood trees such as pine and birch grow at a height of 4500 meters beyond which there is not much vegetation. Conservation of Forests The continuous exploitation of forests has damaged our ecosystem to a great extent. The loss of forest cover also causes large-scale flooding and soil erosion. There are several reasons responsible for the loss of forest cover. But the most important has been the increasing population of living space fuel, wood, cultivable land, etc. Trees take time to grow and quick regeneration of forests is not possible. Forests have some detrimental effects on our environment, such as loss of habitat for wild animals, loss of fodder for domestic animals, loss of medicinal plants, etc. Forests are also need conservation because loss of forest cover also leads to global warming due to excessive carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Since increasing population is the greatest cause for reducing forest cover, we will have to increase our efforts to control population. Diversion of forest land for other purposes has to be prevented. Reckless cutting of forests needs to be checked. Steps have to be taken to stop shifting cultivation. Large-scale planting of trees Aforestation is another step in this regard. Forest fire is another cause of forest depletion which needs to be controlled. Quarrying also should be discouraged. Trivia The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, collected and assessed information from 229 countries and territories for three points in time, 1990, 2000 and 2005. This assessment sheds light on overall progress towards sustainable forest management at both global and regional level.